Um, now we move to our fourth uh, speaker, um, Mr. Khaled Shibaro. Mr. Khaled uh, is the Regional Development Manager for Bahrain and Saudi Arabia at Yellow Door Energy. Khaled spearheads efforts to help commercial and industrial businesses switch to solar energy and reduce their energy consumption. Khaled has almost a decade of experience in successfully delivering customer-centric solutions in the UAE, the Middle East, and Canada. As a commercially astute per professional, Khaled combines both his engineering knowledge and his business acumen to bring forth the best solutions for his customers. Prior to joining Yellow Door Energy, Khaled was a project manager at Adenium Energy Capital, where he managed numerous solar PV projects in Jordan. Khaled also worked as a senior sales engineer at ABB, where he negotiated and executed contracts with international and local contractors. He also held several technical and project management solutions uh, positions at Saudi Bin Laden Group and Siemens Canada. Khaled holds a Bachelor of uh, Electrical Engineering and Management from McMaster University in Canada. He will be presenting on financing options for commercial and industrial solar projects. Uh, Engineer Khaled, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you, Yazan, for your kind introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the ISEE team and the organizers for allowing me to speak at this event. Uh, I'll be sharing my presentation now. All right. All right. Can you guys see my presentation? Yes, it's good. Perfect, perfect. So today I'll be um, presenting about financing options for commercial and industrial solar projects. Please have a quick glance over the agenda of my presentation for today. I'll start off by explaining about Yellow Dead Energy and what we do. So Yellow Door Energy was founded in 2015 in UAE and Jordan. We have so far uh, have 120 megawatts of uh, commercial industrial solar projects, uh, which are uh, under operation or under construction. As of today, we have offices uh, in, in Bahrain, Saudi, UAE, Jordan, and Pakistan. Our shareholders are the IFC, which is part of the World Bank, and then Mitsui, which is a Japanese conglomerate, Apicorp, the Arab Petroleum uh, countries, they have a fund that invests in energy, and Equinor, which is that oil energy fund. So what, what is the benefits of PV? We like to call the benefits, sorry, yes, okay, no. The, a triple bottom line benefits. So what does that mean? It means economic, environmental, and social. Economic, because simply you can save on your energy bills. You can ma manage your long-term uh, electricity costs, and then you can reduce your carbon uh, footprint. Uh, as well as uh, social, we, we can, put, we can uh, have a screen inside a factory or inside the commercial entity where we're going to be installing. And then it would be showcasing to any customer who will enter or, or different stakeholders, employees, uh, or, or you know, uh, suppliers, as well as EV charges at the, at the premises. So simply just how does solar work? It's uh, when we have a solar panel and in the sun is shining, the irradiance, uh, the solar panel will convert the radiance into DC power, and then the inverter will change from DC to AC, uh, and, and the AC power will go to the grid, which will feed the different loads connected to the uh, solar on-grid system. Now, uh, in, in Bahrain, they have announced the net metering law to, uh, around uh, two years ago, which enables 
customers to connect to the grid and benefit from solar energy, as well as uh, benefit from any access energy which is not consumed, as this access energy will be credit uh, for them in their monthly bill. Now, uh, what are the different options for customers? For customers, they have usually two different options. One is a CapEx or hiring an EPC uh, to, uh, to build a solar power plant for them. Or the other option is a, in Bahrain, it's a PPA, it's a power purchase agreement, or sometimes it's leasing. So what are the two different uh, differences? Uh, the first, in, the, in the CapEx option, uh, the customer has to put in 100% investment while in the PPA, zero investment from the customer side. Uh, from the CapEx option, the, the savings only, he can get the savings after the payback period, which is usually around seven to eight years uh, in, in Bahrain, depending on the country, depending on the uh, uh, utility rate. While PPA is immediate savings uh, from day one. Uh, in the CapEx option, they need to consider all the different uh, costs such as not only the investment but also the O&M, the insurance, the spare part replacements and additional headcount. While in the PPA it's only paid on the tariff that we propose to the, to the, to the customer. Uh, ownership uh, from the CapEx option is immediate, owner, immediate from the first day while uh, the, in the PPA option is after the term ends. The term is usually in the PPA between 15 to 20 years. Uh, for the performance performance guarantee, it's an additional scope that is not offered by uh, the EPC. It's something that is uh, paid for by the um, customer. Uh, while in the PPA, there's a performance guarantee throughout the contract term. Uh, as I said, the operation and maintenance and insurance are, are not included in the EPC scope, while in the PPA, it is included. Uh, these are the uh, hidden costs uh, when, when it comes to uh, the, the comparing the as PC to the PPA, uh, the, the hidden costs that sometimes the, the customers do not uh, see are the annual insurances, you know, from year one to year 20 or to year 25, the lifetime of a solar panel, uh, the parts replacement, operation and maintenance, asset management, performance guarantee, and additional health count in order to supervise the system installation and uh, take care of the asset management of the system. At Yellow Door Energy, we finance projects in, in two different ways, either through equity or through, through debt, or in a combination of both. Uh, so, uh, equity, we have raised uh, $65 million from our, our shareholders, and then that we, we have managed to get a $50, $50 million revolving uh, construction loan from uh, Epicorp, as well as $31.2 million from, uh, from the European Bank and the KFW, DEG, and Jeff, uh, and this is for our projects in, in Jordan. Uh, how does a solar PPA uh, work? So usually what we do is we conduct a uh, initial assessment at the premises, and then we assess the solar potential. Uh, we, we design a solar system by uh, doing a PV cyst and by designing through AutoCAD and, and presenting a, uh, a lease or a PPA proposal to the customer. Uh, when the customer, uh, let's say, uh, agrees commercially, then we go about giving them a PPA, draft PPA contract. Once the draft PPA contract is agreed upon, we will be doing the, uh, the, uh, we'll be doing the uh, permitting, uh, procuring of the equipment, installing, uh, commissioning of the plant, and then operating and maintaining for the long term. At the end of the term, the system will be transferred uh, to uh, the owner. Here are some uh, success stories that, that we have uh, so far. Uh, this is just a, a few customers that, that we put here 
uh, Unilever, uh, Nestle, uh, the Greenhouse, and then Nabuda. We have in Jordan uh, a lot of success stories here, just a few success stories that we're putting here, which is a specialty hospital, the Jabri restaurant, classic fashion, and Estiklal Mall. It's interesting in, in, uh, in um, Jordan that we have uh, used the concept of the wheeling, whereby we install further away from the city and then we wheel the energy towards the customer. While if I go back uh, in this, uh, in Dubai, for example, we have used uh, uh, to install the solar, solar panels on the rooftop or on the ground uh, area of the uh, customer. Um, we have an innovative platform that we use, which is Seams. We were able to manage asset management on our entire uh, assets uh, in, in different countries. And this way, we'll be able to monitor our solar plants to the uh, string level or to the panel level. Uh, and in this way, we ensure that our plants are uh, operating at the expected uh, performance that we would like them to operate at. Uh, the, the insights and summary of this presentation, basically, we have solar PV brings triple bottom line benefits. There are two ways that customer can um, uh, can have solar, whether it's CapEx or whether it's hiring a developer or PPA. There are pros and cons to each method. And uh, lastly, I would say that, you know, we look forward to helping businesses in Bahrain uh, to switch to clean energy. Uh, and reduce their costs and, and carbon emissions. And by that, I'd like to thank you for, for listening and uh, I'll be happy to take any questions. Thank you, thank you, Khaled. Uh, just uh, before we move on to the Q&A, just like a continuation on your presentation relative to uh, the general metrics of the uh, viability of the projects you held, like whether in Jordan or in Dubai or elsewhere, like what are the, the quick indicators for, you know, the viability, the financial viability of those projects? Well, um, let's say in different markets, we offer different uh, savings. So if the customer, for example, in Dubai can save, you know, 40% or 50% on their uh, tariff uh, from day one without putting any investment, it's really attractive for the customers uh, in Dubai. While in Bahrain, for example, if they can save uh, around 20% to 25% from their electricity bill uh, from the first day without putting in the investment, uh, it's also very attractive to, to uh, you know, sign a PPA. Sounds good. Thank you, Khaled.